So we're thankful for a lot of cool things. Let me see what I, let me roll down a list. I saw health. I see my family and friends, uh, books, family, my dog. Uh, let me put, I'm going to put in there. You know what I'm going to put in there? I'm going to put in the chat. My, my cats. Ooh, I have cats, y'all. I'm the weird guy. I got cats. Someone say, my seven pets. I need to know what are those seven pets. Somebody put in the chat. Okay. House, friends, family, books. I love it. Some I need to know those. A piano. I want to learn how to play. You got to teach me that. Uh, your house. Amy said her house. I love it. Your sister. I put my cats. Adeline. That's amazing. Two cats, two dogs for me. Oh, my God. This is this is filled with bountiful blessing uh, today. But like always, you all, we're going to pick up where we left off next last week. Last week, we were talking about extracting DNA, and this week, we're rolling into something special. And we're going to pick up where we left off, and we're going to really extract, extract this strawberry DNA because it was an epic fail last time, like epic fail. And we don't need that. You know, we try and try and try again. We don't give up, y'all. We keep going. It's very important that y'all remember that. We keep going. But today, we're talking about marvelous marvels, molecular gastronomy, gastronomy for the young chef. That's what we're talking about today. But before we do that, we're going to roll right back into what we did last week. Now, we made, we was trying to make these smoothies. And we, who can remember what we did last night? What was some icky and slimy that we worked with last week? Who can remember? Who can tell me? What was some icky and slimy that we worked with last week? You can unmute yourselves. I, anybody. I need some. Thought. If you don't want to talk, just throw it out there. Come on. I got you. A few moments later. Anybody? Zoom user. See, some of your name. I can't call your name. So. I already unmute myself. Okay. You unmute yourself. What, what are some icky and slimy that we used last week? Anybody remember? Oh, so last, I'm sorry, last week we had this really icky, slimy banana. And you know, we usually eat bananas that are yellow, right? But this banana was brown. Like, it was super brown, y'all. It was, like, slimy. It had all the good juices and stuff rolling off of it. But we used this icky, slimy banana last week. And I think it was molded, but we used it anyway. But that's okay. This week, right, we got some really fresh strawberries. I handpicked these myself and grew them on my farm. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I did not. I do not have a farm. I wish I did have a farm. And I really do. I need a farm. Stop it. Get some help. Yes, I need help. I really do because I can't be telling you all that and it's not true. Okay? So we're going to extract this strawberry DNA. But I have to figure out how to do that. How do you all think we can extract strawberry DNA? In the chat, put whatever you think it is, the process needed to extract strawberry DNA. I got a special guest, y'all. I got a special guest. This is my this is the favorite assistant. I need I need my hand. I got I got three hands, y'all. I need can I have some shampoo sh hand say hey. Everybody, this hand. When I say hand, Hand is going to be reaching. Look, everybody, everybody wave at hand. There we go. Wave at hand. This is hand. Okay? Hand is very special to me because I wasn't born with three hands, three arms, but this is my extra hand. Yes. Thank you, hand. Thank you. Everybody clap it up for hand. He's a special. Yes. 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 He's a special member of the family, and we keep hand around. All the time, okay? Uh, we're not going to squish it just yet. We're coming to that. I promise you, we're going to squish it, squish it, squish it more than you know. All right? Here's something cool, though. Y'all ready for something cool? I'm ready for something cool. I'm ready for something cool. All right? So, this strawberry DNA. We're going to do it several ways. We're going to do, oh, we forgot one thing. Hand, we need a filter. As Hand works on getting that filter for us, the coffee filter for us, we're going to, in our rubber band, we're going to move right along, okay? 
Last week, we were supposed to make strawberry, I mean, uh, smoothies as well, but that didn't happen. While doing these activities, it's very important to be safe. Ah, safety first. Safety is always first. We're going to, I wear rubber gloves. Now, for this activity, we don't necessarily have to wear rubber gloves, okay? That's not the case. You say what? I'm talking to mommy. Tell mommy I said hey. Hey, mommy. Hey, mommy. Everybody wave at mommy. For this activity, for this activity, you don't have to wear gloves. I'm wearing gloves because I didn't get my nails done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I, w I don't want the sticky, slimy stuff to be all over my hands and the salt to be all over my hands, okay? I don't want, I don't want this to be all over my hand, the salt. And you can't see it, but in this, this is my special red cup. In my special red cup, it's 99% it's isopropyl alcohol. And when that gets on your hand, it strips all the lotion on, and whatever you use to moisturize your skin off your hand. Now, this level of difficulty for this act activity, it's medium. The mesometer, I'm gonna get, we need a mesometer. Uh, this is a minor mess, so if you're at home, make sure to tell your folks that you need help with this so you don't make a complete mess. It's very important that you do so. Um, now, this is, a, this is a snack that you can't eat. Like, you can't eat it at all, okay? So, but it's very cool to see the DNA in strawberries, all right? Now, we're going to pause for the calls. Oh, I may be able to use, hold on. We may not have, oh, we may not have, okay, coffee filter, but we're going to try and use this paper towel right here because I think this going to get it done, y'all, because we improvise. Oh, we improvise uh, when we doing stuff, all right? So we got that. So we got to go through our steps. Our first step, okay, I want you all to be able to see this, so let me clear out some junk. I got a plastic bag here. We're going to shift these over here because I'm pretty sure I'm going to destroy most of these plastic bags. I don't want to destroy too many, but we're going to do mess up enough. Okay? You all, hand and bring me my rubber band. Okay, we're going to wait. Hold on. Hold on. That was a brief intermission, okay? And that's okay? Yes. Hand me, bam. We're fortunate to have hand in our life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. So, we're gonna start off by putting, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna move over here, y'all. Boom. We're gonna take a handful of, handful of stuff strawberries and just put them inside of our bag, okay? This is uh, this not going to take that long, okay? We, I promise you all I'm not going to spend 30 minutes smashing up strawberries, but the first thing we got to do is we got to smash our strawberries. Make sure all of, all of the air out of my bag because I don't need my bag to pop. Alright? I don't want my bag to pop, but I also want as much air as I possibly can get out, out and we're going to just smash away. We're going to just smash, smash, smash our strawberries. Get them a nice little. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh look at that. What? Uh-uh. That... Okay, I'm going to stop. Here we go. We're going to squish up all of our strawberries. I think, should I squish some more? Let me add a couple more strawberries to this. We're going to add a couple more strawberries to that. Ah. Uh. And then we're going to squish it, squish it, squish it. Now, now. I think that's enough. 
What's needed? I'm missing something. Hand, what do I need? Measuring cup. Boom. We're getting one cup of water. Okay. We're going to take one cup of water. Hold on. Now, this is drinking water, you all. It's not, it's not special water that we don't... That we don't... Um, hand, do we put it inside the cup? Hand say put it inside the cup. Water inside the cup. Boom. Now, we put... How much strawberry... We're going to put all the strawberry in there. We're going to put all the strawberry inside our cup. You can't see it, but I'm going I'm to hold it up. We're going to try to pour this inside of here without making a mess. Okay, that's the alcohol. We're going to do like this, and we're going to put it up here. Now, if this fall is going to splash all in my face, you all see me looking to the right because my computer screen is right here. And, yeah, I don't want to. Like, it's a lot of stuff going on over here. You can see all that, can't you? Okay. We're going to pour as much as this can. We're going to do it right, okay? We're going to take our time and pour. Oh, whew. that was almost an epic fail. Epic fail. Okay, we got our. That almost looks like a strawberry smoothie. It looks kind of tasty, honestly. This looks kind of tasty. I don't know if you all like smoothies or get some, get like some bubble tea or something like that. I think that would be amazing. So we take this and we pour the strawberry, our strawberry smash into the water. Okay, we're going to pour all of that in there. We're going to pour all of it in there. Okay. Now, once we do that, you still can't see. So I need to make this where you can see. Do we got a big measuring cup? Nope. We're going to take it and we're going to stir that. We're going to stir this for a little bit. So we're going to stir this for a little bit. And we're going to take some salt. I have salt right here. We're going to pause for that. We're going to, I got salt right here. We're going to eventually use salt. We're going to take another cup and put some salt in the cup. Two, it says pinches, but I, it never worked. Last time we did that, it didn't work. We're going to take a pinch of salt. Boom. We're going to take two pinches of salt. And we're supposed to take one. We're going to mix this really well. We're going to take one, table, one tablespoon of dishwashing liquid and mix it with the salt, okay? And then we're going to stir it. And boom. Now, it takes time, y'all. Y'all know how dishwashing liquid is. This, hey, now that I have, this is a public service announcement. You know, Make sure you're helping your parents do your dishes at home. We're going to, boom, we're going to put that in there. We got to put a little, we're going to take time and then take another spoon and stir the soap and the salt together, okay, to make another little a salt soapy mixture. We're going to try not to make it foamy. We're going to gently stir it. We're not trying to make it foamy, okay? That's not what we're doing. We're gently stirring. Once we gently stir this, Okay, we have our salt and dishwashing liquid mixture. We have our water. Ugh, ugh, I got salt everywhere, you guys. Like, everywhere. Okay. I have my salt mixture. So, I have my salt mixture. Now, we're going to take two teaspoons... I got my two, three teaspoons. We're going to be generous with it. Three teaspoons. So I got my teaspoon. Now, here's, here's the thing. This can, you can do this. You can do this activity. And everything, for the most part, everything that you see here, the cups, the spoons, the measuring cups, the dishwashing liquid, the salt, like all of this, you can get from the dollar store. Think of this as Dollar Tree Science. We're going to take a couple, three teaspoons, one, two, three, three, four, and we're going to mix that in there really well. We're going to, we want to make sure that it's not, we're not making all frothy and stuff, okay? We don't want it to be all puffy. That's not what we want to do. Okay, so now we have to strain this liquid. 
So we have to strain this liquid. So we got to add, but to do that as well, we got to add alcohol to it. Now I have some fancy alcohol here. Again, this is 99% isopropyl. This is not the stuff that you have at home that your parents used to put on our boo-boos. That is not what this is. This is laboratory grade alcohol. It's a little fancy. I'm not going to lie. It's a little fancy. So we're going to clean our spoon. Make sure there's no leftover alcohol residue. One tablespoon of alcohol. Okay. Or it may be teaspoon. It may be a cup. I don't know yet. We're going to figure it out. So, so we're going to take our alcohol, and it says a teaspoon. I don't think it needs more than that, but that's just me. Hand, on, hand is saying it takes a... going to put a little more. Now, now, in theory, we're supposed to let this sit, and we're supposed to stir this for 10 minutes. So with the salt and the alcohol together, it's going to strip or denature the protein and allow the strawberry DNA to float to the top. While we're letting this, you're supposed to stir it, but we're going to let this sit for a second or two. And, and I need, I got to get a bigger beaker. Do we have some over there? We have one, one big beaker. Yeah, let me see. Hand. Skirt. What we're going to do, we're going to do this on our own. We're going to level it up. Should I level it up? Give me some thumbs up if I should level it up and just make a concoction real quick. Yes, I see a lot of yeses. Thumbs up. So we're about to level this up. We're going to just throw some stuff together. <laughs> we're going to see if this works. Okay, we're going to take our strawberries. We're going to smush them in there. Ah, that's a snack smash. We're going to smash up some strawberries in there. Yeah. Okay, we're going to make a little mess. Okay, then we got our strawberries. Let me get my spoon. Where my spoon go? Yes, we're going to skirt, 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 skirt. We're going to smash that up. <coughs> they got in my mouth. Ah! They got in my mouth, y'all. We're going to do that. We're going to add. we still going to add the appropriate amount of dish soap into it, okay? Nope. Yep. Dish soap, salt. we just going to add it all into the thing. We're going to put salt in there. Ah! We're going to add. We're going to add our water. I ran out of water, but we're going to get to that. We're going to add some dish soap. Oh, oh, help me. Help me. We're going to put dish soap in there. Okay, we're going to move this out of the way. I almost made a mess. I almost made a mess. No, God. No, God, please, no. No. Oh, oh I almost messed up. I almost dropped some of y'all. I gotta fix it. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. So we got that. We're gonna stir that a little bit. Uh, that looks disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Like absolutely disgusting. Look at that. Uh, hand dribbling me some water. I think that's good enough. That's amazing. We're going to take it and we're going to mix it. We're going to mix that up. Oh, this. But you know what? I thought it was going to stink. It doesn't stink. It smells amazing. Now, caution. When you're doing this, do this in the kitchen or outside. It's not going to make a huge mess. So, But if your parents don't want to clean it up, it's, do it outside. But you can do this in the kitchen. And every, nothing's hazardous. Okay, let's make sure our mixture is good. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. this is amazing. We're going to add some more. We're going to add some more alcohol to this. I feel like it's supposed to, the alcohol is supposed to do something fancy to that. So, yeah, oh. There we go. Y'all, it's working. It's working out, y'all. I wish y'all could see this. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh, let's see. Put your little pigeon on side on there. Oh, y'all gonna love that. Y'all gonna love that. Okay, we're gonna do this one. 
Okay, we have our water. We have our salt. We got our soap. We got our strawberry. The only thing we're missing is what? Our alcohol. We're going to put our alcohol in here. But we're going to take this. And we're going to pour our alcohol in it. We're going to pour more than we did last time. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that slurry of goodness. So we're going to do something a little different this time. As I... Okay. Oh, somebody's... Add some more uh, salt to this. A little more salt. Oh my goodness. Oh, hold on. So, this is what we're going to do. I can't stand up too long. I'm going to get my stool. I got to get my stool, y'all. So I can sit down and stand up. I can sit stand. Whew. I think that made me shorter. So we're going to take our paper towel. This is what we're going to do. And on one of our straining, on one of our cups. Oh, that's done. This is ready, y'all. That is extra ready. Okay, we've created, so I've created a little makeshift funnel, and the purpose of this is to strain off all the particulates that's in, oh, don't create a mess, don't create a mess, don't create a mess. We're going to let it strain, we're going to let this strain and keep straining it until we finish. But uh, what I want to show you all, oh, my goodness. This is cool. Not going to joke. This is cool, you all. This is really cool. I'm going to let that sit. We're going to have to doctor that up some more, too. But this one, I'm trying to see if I can get it out. All right, we have to do a little crowd control in the back, y'all. So, ooh, we're going to let this sit. I've strained most of that off, which is cool. And right now, we're going to doctor that up a little bit. Huh. Mm, that did a little something to that. I wish you all can see that. But let me get my wooden stick, because I'm going to switch this around. I want you all to, and I'm going to go in closer so you all can see. See what I see. Because I'm going to strain this one off too. So this is exciting. I want you all to see all this. We're going to do the fast version of this, this filter. I may strain. I may mess up and strain all the DNA off for real. <laughs> and have to dig it out of the cup. Off the filter. We've had to do that. Because I'm looking at it. Come on. I probably had to add the salt and stuff last, and that would have made it, made it, uh, here we go. Oh, we. Oh. 
Uh, so, okay, 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 okay. I want to see if you all can see this. All right? Because it, it actually worked. It actually worked. But it's not, it's not as, it's not as stringy as I thought it would be because we smashed our strawberries up a lot. But I don't, do you all see that white cloud sitting at the bottom? That strawberry DNA. Look at it. You see the difference? You see there's a thick white layer, that's a clear layer at the top. And then the, the, the layer at the bottom is strawberry DNA. Yes, I'm excited about that. I need, yes. Can I get some love? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yay. I need, can I get a clap? Can I get some claps, you all? Just a couple of claps, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So... So, we create our strawberry DNA. Uh, let me get it over here so I can get up close and personal with it. Let's, now, can you all see it a little bit better? Oh, let's tilt it this way. Uh, I'm trying to make it work. You all see it? The, the white stuff at the bottom is the strawberry DNA. Let's see. There we, that may help. You see it a little bit more? <laughs> Boom. So, this is going to be, we're going to give it a two, we're going to have a two minute pause so I can, no, one minute, so I can move this stuff up and reset, which is not going to take that long, okay? So take time, run to the bathroom, and join me back in one minute, or however, after you finish using the bathroom, okay? All right? I'll be right back.
Y'all still there with me? Hey, I'm back. I'm back, y'all. We back rocking and rolling. We we still rocking and rolling, 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 rolling. I am back and I'm ready to rock and roll. I am here. Yes, I'm here and I'm excited, y'all. Wake up. Wake up. Y'all still here with me? I hey, Zeus, I love your glasses. I love them. I see you, man. I see you, my man. I see you all looking amazing, okay? I see you. So, so right now, again, we're doing Marvelous Marbles Molecular Gastronomy for the Young Chef. That's what we're doing right now. We're rolling into our next situation, our next laboratory situation, all right? This is going to be really exciting. Okay, so the level of difficulty is a medi uh, medium mesometer rating of minor mess. This is best eaten for a snack or a garnish with pancakes. This takes roughly four hours to prep before you do the activity. So you can prep it the day before or like first thing in the morning if you're going to do it before lunch or around noon or just later in the evening. You can start prep at noon and do it around five or six you know, on your lunch break, if you're at home and relaxing and chilling like you are now. This is, so this is uh, a beginning experiment. It took, takes 30 minutes to do in its entirety. Uh, and then we're going to make, we're going to try to make, okay, try to make marbles, okay? Again, we're going to do, this is gastronomy. We're going to try to make us some marbles, okay? That's what we're going to try to make, all right? That's what we're going to try to make. Try, try. Try, 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 try. Right? That's what we're going to try to make. It's a five minutes to taste test, okay? It makes about a half a cup of marbles. So the process, oh, I got to need some water, y'all. Hold on. I had to go get a new cup of water. A new, make sure that during the time while you all are doing this, you all can run to the bathroom, do all that cool stuff while we wait. And if you need to eat lunch, go ahead and eat lunch as well. So the process of making these marbles is called spherification. Okay, it's a culinary technique in which chefs turn liquids into flavorable, solid marbles. Who, who drinks boba tea? Now, boba tea is not like actual tea that parents drink it's more like a juicy everybody y'all drink boba tea oh that is amazing i love me some boba tea i don't know about y'all but boba tea is amazing it's amazing so any liquid juice you can do hot chocolate even soup can be turned into tiny bits of goodness so i have question does changing the texture of fam uh, familiar foods change the taste that's a question. Take, a th take 30 seconds. In the chat real quick. In the chat real quick. Put down. Does changing the texture of familiar foods change the taste? Tell me real quick. 
Come on, tell me. Figure it out. In the chat. I need some chats. Come on. One person said no. Come on. Come on. I need your Edward. Emma. Who else? Lillian. Come on. Lizette. Come on. What's what's going on? I don't know if this is your parents' name. I'm gonna just call you I'm gonna just call you whatever name on the screen, okay? Zoom user. <laughs> Amy. Mini Amy. So I see no. Ooh, come on. I see you all. No, 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 no. Yes. Somebody said yes. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. We're about to find out. But before we move forward, caution. Caution. We also is exercise caution because hot liquids can be dangerous. Have an adult pour the steaming juice for you. So it's very important that we exercise this caution because you all don't want to get hurt, do you? No. So we have to make sure that we have an adult pour the steaming juice. All right? That's very important. We got to have an adult do that. We can't get, I can't have you all getting hurt. That Then I would be in my feelings. Y'all, we can't have that. I'm getting sad. But I'll be okay. Here's something really cool, though. We're going to, we have to test this hypothesis and observe everything that we see. So here's our hypothesis and our observation. Will experimental subject be able to identify flavor of your marvelous marbles? When, when you make this at home or when you're making this with a friend or in school or whatnot, will they be able to tell what you make? Okay? What flavors... This is the observation that they're your, that we're going to go for. What flavors did your experimental subject use? Okay? That's what we have to go through to figure out today. Okay? So, boom. So, look at that for a second. That's what we're working on right now. All right, now that y'all have looked at the hypothesis, now that you've looked at the observation, now we have to work on our experiment so we are able to test this hypothesis. So we're going to pour two tablespoons of juice into uh, one of our two liquid measuring cups. Boom. We got it right here. That's what we've done so far. Okay? We got our two. We have it together. All right? We got that done. So we have one envelope of gelatin. Boom, boom. <laughs> Got the dust in my mouth. I hope I don't pop this pack. That would be catastrophic. So we're gonna take our juice. Ah, stop it. We're gonna take our gelatin. This is unflavored gelatin. We're gonna take our unflavored gelatin and we're going to put it in to our juice. So we're gonna take it. We're going to take our unflavored gelatin and put it in our juice. So, boom. We're going to take that. We're going to mix that up some nice until it becomes all comfy. We're going to stir that for 20 seconds. Oh, we got we to gotta, oh, gotta really mix that. Got to really mix that powder in there, okay? We got to really mix this. Okay? Then we're going to pour one-fourth cup of juice into the second liquid measuring cup, okay? So we're going one-fourth juice into the measuring cup. We got that together. Now, th oh, this has already became clumpy. And then once we did that, hand has already microwaved this for us, okay? So we're going to pour this into this, okay? We got the, look at it, look at it. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh, that is so interesting. Look at this. 
It's a, you know what this smell like? Fruit Jello. That is amazing. I don't know why I didn't think of that. You can make this, you know you can make your own Jello at home. Just getting some regular fruit juice and mix the Jello, the plain gelatin in there. What? Now, it won't look just like this because this is a clumpy mess. Look at that. Scratch it. Mm -mm. So we microwaved some more juice, a one-fourth cup of juice in a second liquid measuring cup. We did that for 10 seconds. Now, this is hot. Look at that. You can't see it like I can, but that is hot. We got to exercise caution, okay? So we repeat the steps. We got that, boom. We repeat the step until the juice is steaming, not boiling. We're going to pour the steaming juice into the liquid measuring cup for step one and two, stir for a minute. So we're going to take this, we're going to pour this in here, and we're going to stir that for at least one minute. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty seconds. Fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty seconds. That's a minute. Okay. Now we're gonna take this. We're gonna pour this in here. We're gonna stir this for at least one minute. Okay. We're gonna pour the juice gel into mixture. 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 We're gonna pour the which is in the refrigerator. We, we prepped ahead this time, y'all. Okay? So we take this and we pour this mixture into our juice bottle. Boom, boom, boom. Psh, hand. Deliver this to our cold freezer. Boom. While hand's working on that, we're going to keep going. So we chill the, the squeeze bottle, we have a squeeze bottle, in the refrigerator for 10 minutes, but no longer. Otherwise, it will solidify. Then we're going to take the squeeze bottle out uh, and the cold, and we're going to use cold oil out of the refrigerator and slowly drop the gelatin mixture uh, from the squeeze bottle into the cold oil. We're going to play with the size of the drops. Uh, you can, you make, they may try, You're gonna, we're going to do small drops, we're going to be big drops. We're going to really play with the size of our drops. When we have used up all of the, uh, the juice gelatin mixture, we're going to slowly pour the cold oil and the juice gelatin marbles into the strainer because that's how we're going to get our marbles. Okay? You can put a container underneath the strainer. Like I, so I have my strainer right here, and I have my bowl, and then my strainer just sits on the bowl like this. So when I pour the mixture that I'm talking about into the container, it separates, and all we have left is the marbles. Now, there's a 20% chance that this may go completely terribly wrong, but there's a, that's a margin of error that we work with from time to time. But it's, it is absolutely okay. All okay? right? Absolutely okay. So let's back up for a second. We're going to take the squeeze bottle out and the cold oil out of the refrigerator, okay? Oh, hand, bam. Mister. Yes. I have other glasses. I have other glasses. You have other glasses. That's amazing. That is amazing. So we we took the squeeze bottle and the cold oil out of the refrigerator. We're going to slowly drop the juice gelatin mixture. We're gonna slide this over to the side, and I because I want you all to be able to see this. Boom. We're going to take, because that oil, that oil is cold. Now, again, there's about a 50-50 chance that this may not work. Okay? 50-50 chance. But we're going to do it anyway, because we, we're adventurous. All right? We're going to slowly drip the gelatin mixture from the squeeze bottle into the cold oil. All right? You all ready for this? Let's see how this works. Let's do it. Let's see. Hold on. Do we need... We're going to shake it up. We're going to swirl it around a little bit. Now we're going to play with this. I'm going to get in. I got to get in nice and close so you all can see. Get the letters out the way. We got, oh, that's good. You got to see it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I don't know if y'all can see that. Hold on. We're going to slowly drip that in there. That just became extra cool. Oh. 
My drip bot ain't dripping. It's like pouring. Oh. Oh, my. Oh. This is cool. So I'm kind of pouring fast. Y'all see me dripping? Drip, drip. Can you all see the balls? Can y'all see the marbles? You see them? Look at that. Hold on. You all, guess what? Get, we can eat those. I'm going to eat those. He ain't going to try something too. He don't know. He going to try something too. We can eat that. Okay? We're going to go back over here and finish dropping our, our balls into it. Look at that. That is so cool. I, just, I can't even make this up. Can't, I can't even make this up. That, now, this is going to take a minute. Shoot a couple photos and videos. This is going to take a second, so we're going to work on this. All right? We're going we gonna, to we gonna work on this right here. Like, this is amazing. Let's see if we can make a big one. Uh, we, gonna we don't want to mess it up, so we're going to try to make small ones. Boom, boom, boom. We've made a lot. I think that's a lot. We're gonna make we're gonna make some more. I can't wait till you all try this at home. This is going to be amazing. Boom. So now it's it's a little hard because we can't use up all the juice. All right. We have a lot of juice. This is a lot, okay? When we when we you when we have used up all the juice for this gelatin mixture, we pour the cold oil and the juice and we're gonna pour it into this. So since we have a lot of juice, ah, we have a lot of juice, we're not gonna use all of it right now. We're gonna save some for another time. So what we're gonna do is put a container, we have the container under a strainer, and we're gonna use the oil for another batch of marbles. We're gonna use that for uh for later. When the oil is all gone. We're going to rinse the remaining oil off the marble. So I'm going to strain. This is what we're going to do. We're going to pour the strainer, the marbles, in the strainer. Okay? We're just going to pour it all in there. All right? And then the, here come the marbles. Let's pray they don't. This is absolutely failing. But you know what? I have a, I have a theory. Now, we can see that our, our balls, our marbles are in the bottom of this. So what we're going to do is pause for the cause. We just got to put some oil in the refrigerator for a long period of time. I think that's what we have to do. We're going to set this in the refrigerator for a long period of time, OK? Because what's happening is, I think our oil isn't cold enough. And what's happening is, once we pour the solution through the strainer, the marbles break. They haven't solidified or became hard enough for them to, for them to stick. And what happened is, they just turned into one massive blob. <laughs> I'm so sad. This is too much. This is too much, you all. I am in my feelings. It is going to be okay, though. It is going to be okay. All right? We're going to continue to work on this. And I promise you, like we did the strawberry DNA, it's going to work. So I'm going to carefully pour. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's that's what happened. So I'm already knowing you all what has transpired. Okay? We poured the marbles from the strainer into the bowl. Okay, we poured the marbles from the strainer into the bowl. Okay. Now what we're supposed to do next is to find an an experimental subject, like a parent or a sibling, to taste our marble and tell you what it's made of, and they're going to tell you what they think it's made of. And the idea is so they could recognize, you're going to ask them, could they recognize the flavor, even though the juice was, was in solid form. Okay, then next you would record your observation, 
all right? We will record our observation uh, via documentation. Uh, this is a part of our scientific journal, our scientific notebook, which is okay. Now, here's the beauty behind it, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Boom, 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 boom. Here's the beauty behind this, okay? The hows and the whys of what we're doing. When the gelatin gets cold, it goes from liquid to the solid. In this experiment, you got your gelatin cold so quickly that it formed separate marbles. The marbles didn't stick to each other because the gelatin can't dissolve in oil. But the flavor of the juice didn't change, okay? That's the beauty of it. Now, here's the stem connection for you. Sphe spherification, hold on, I'm butchering it, y'all, okay? I got to get it together. Sphere spherification is part of a larger culinary field called molecular gastronomy, in which chefs use chemistry to separate out the molecules of flavor and nutrition that make food uh, fabulous. This is how we turn it up a notch, okay? We got to turn it up a notch for show. For no mess pancakes, make, your, make marbles out of maple syrup. Prepare a recipe of pancakes, sprinkle three to seven marble syrups, uh, maple syrup marbles on top of each pancake just before you flip it. That's gonna be interesting. When you bite down into the pancakes, the marbles will release the maple syrup flavor. That's going to be fantastic. Okay? Yes, that's gonna be amazing. That's gonna be amazing. So the results, they're still pending. But here are some questions we wanna answer. Was your experimental subject able to guess the flavor? We're going to hold that for next time, next week, uh, when we continue this, uh, this amazing activity. That's what you have to ask yourself later on. Was the person that you had trying this, were they able to tell you what it was? Okay? That's the, that's the big part of it. Were they able to tell you exactly what it was? Or did they, or, or, or you had to tell them. We're not going to tell them. I'm not going to tell him what it is. He's going to have to figure it out for himself. Okay? So, please, definitely stay tuned. Thank you for listening. Don't hesitate to ask questions. My name is Brandon, a.k.a. The Bearded Scientist, and this has been our Genius Hour for today. Next week, I have something really, really exciting that I'm doing that we've never done before, and it's just for the students in Richardson ISD. This is going to be so amazing, and I don't think you are ready for it. I don't even think your teachers are ready for it. I don't think the STEM coordinators are ready for it. The superintendent, your principals are ready for this. It's going to be so super duper amazing that I don't even think I'm ready for it, but I want you all to stay tuned. If you are, do you all have any questions, thoughts? No? Not today? Not yet? I understand. Well, this is me, Brandon, a.k.a. the Bearded Scientist, signing out. And I will see you all next Wednesday at noon for a really exciting, exciting genius hour. Uh, have a good day. Hey, Mika.